now what i'm trying to do here is i want to create some branches i want to switch it over to another branches and i want to create some uh, changes in one branches and i want to merge it to the another branch let's see how it goes let's say when you join a project there is a one use case that uh, your project source code is already there in some github account and you want to take the code of uh, your project from github a remote to your local and you start work on it and push your changes so that the second developer or other developers can able to pull it this is one approach second approach is uh, you are actually going to create a new repository in your local and make all your changes you build it and then you push it your code to your uh, remote repository so two approaches we are going to see one by one so we are going to see one by one in a very clear way okay so first of all assume it uh, the approach a where your project code is already there in your uh, remote repository so for that i'm just creating one new repository because for our uh, video purpose i'm creating new repository called branching strategy a underscore a okay this is a repository name okay so where i'm going to create a repository name called branching strategy a and then public and then i'm just saying add a readme file and if you guys see here this will set master as my default branch so branching is nothing but like yes i said right the different uh, path of your uh, flow of uh, code right you will take a separate code and a separate uh, folder right so here it is setting as master okay let's assume it it's a master folder okay cool now we are able to create one uh, repository in your remote okay so now here i can able to add some files okay let's say i'm just creating a new file something called file name i will say f1 here i'll say f1 added in remote repo okay so i will just make the changes and commit to new file that's all okay now if you guys see here in my remote i have in the master branch i have f1 and readme dot okay now assume that this is the your project source code okay typically your project code uh, your project source code will have n number of files assume it like as a simple uh, for the context of training just assume that you have something in your master master branch in your remote now what you have to do here is you want to clone this code right so how you can do first of all you come here let me just create a new folder called get um, branching strategy underscore uh, a okay or i can say branching strategy within that I want to make two things okay two developers one developer is uh, the developer uh, one and developer two let's assume that you are the developer one and uh, another developer is there okay i want to show you the differences so i will say that within this developer one or dev one dev underscore one and there is another folder called dev underscore two the reason i am creating this one is to make you guys understand how a developer one making the changes uh is affecting the uh, developer two so developer one i am going to initialize the git and i am going to take the code from the remote repository whatever we created here to the developer one and assume the developer one is making his changes and he is pushing the code to the remote repository and the developer two is actually taking the code first and then he is going to get only the pull request which means like nothing but he is going to take only the changes let's see how it goes so within dev one i am going to initialize the git so how i can get initialize the git first of all i have to go and take the git right so what i can do here is here itself i can open the terminal so right now right now i am in let me clear it off sorry guys clear it off let's say where we are okay we are in dev1 so now we are in developer1 now i want to clone this code so how i can clone it git clone just simply give this uh, https path right let's say this one copy it and then come here and then paste it if you guys see here cloning this repository right whatever we did in this repository it's there now how i can verify that let's say yeah in the dev one right the dev one itself the branching strategy yeah it got created right so it got cloned which means nothing but it just download all the copy all right whatever we have it's copy to here so assume that there is one more folder where i want to uh clone it which is nothing but developer 2 let's say i go to the developer 2 machine now i want to open this in terminal here also i want to clone it okay how i can clone it let me clear it off i want to show you where i am right now i am in dev2 okay this assume that this is a developer 2 so the moment you join the project let's say there are two developers you are the developer one there is another developer 
and there is one source code let's say you are taking your code on the day one and the same day the another developer is also taking the code okay to his local machine so how we even do it git clone the same thing right however you did the same way he is also doing it let me copy it and then paste it over here okay perfect now if you see here in the dev2 also developer mission 2 also he has his code so now assume that you are the developer one there is another developer two you both of you guys actually download or clone the code from remote to your local okay now you are going to make some change to your machine in your machine which is developer one and you are pushing your changes to your remote repository and we are going to see how the developer two is going to get the changes whatever you made it let's assume that for now dev2 is let's say i will just minimize it let's assume that we are in dev1 right we are in dev1 right now let me see ls ltr okay we have to go to branching strategy and within that if i see ls ltr okay we have just f1 and readme file whatever we created in remote repository has been uh, came to you his uh, your uh, your local okay now if i say git status okay everything is clear right on the master branch everything is clear now what i'm going to do here is let me clear it up and i'm going to say touch f2 then git add it to my local staging area and then i want to commit to my uh, local repo which is nothing but in my master branch let's say git commit hyphen m f1 added okay guys now f1 got added now uh, actually i didn't configure my uh, uh, directory right like the username email because i didn't do global so that's what it's saying like adding it to have it uh, on my name as mm, my macbook name that's okay that should be fine so now you have something here right now you have added f2 right now i'm going to say add f3 also and then git add it and then say that f3 added okay so now if i clear it off and if i say ls ltr okay you have f1 f2 f3 three files has been added in the uh, in your local machine so basically f2 and f3 you added in your dev1 and f1 was already there in your remote repository now f2 and f3 you added right so now this has been committed right how i can check it git status if it's not committed it will say that okay it's still you need to commit okay since you have committed to your local repository it says that okay everything is up to date uh, 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 branch is up to date but it is not pushed into your master so now you guys know that since you clone it from your remote repository whatever you have it so it's already have a connection between your local repository and remote repository so you don't need to uh, set your uh, uh, HTTPS URL let's say git remote hyphen b if you guys see here b is nothing but version right what it is going to say so for push and fetch it always have this uh, url because you you gave this url already uh, already right so that's why it is given it is coming so you don't need to express this set it so in the next strategy we have to set it like let me explain it first so now you are having your changes in your local uh, gate but it's not yet pushed into remote so what uh, you can do is get push origin to which branch master branch now it is pushing it so it's asking your keychain password so what you have to do is you have to give your login password okay so login password i think we have to do the password let me see yeah it's allowed okay it's got pushed now if i go to our remote repository if you simply come here and just refresh this page you see here f2 and f3 has been pushed just two minutes ago it got pushed from your local repo so what we have seen here is we have our uh, remote repository you cloned it in your developer one machine and you made some changes f2 and f3 f2 and f3 files you added and then you pushed into remote repository this is how it actually works okay now let's say you push your code to remote repository now this change has to be there in your developer 2 let's say you made these changes you take the code today and tomorrow you make the changes f2 and f3 and you push the code tomorrow okay but developer 2 the other developer is already working on something but whenever he is actually trying to push it he wants to take a pull because he wants to get the latest file right whatever you made the changes right so how he can do here is now we are going to the developer 2 machine let's see here we are going to developer 2 not in developer 1 i am minimizing the developer 1 let me clear it off let me show you guys okay we are in dev2 okay assume that this is a developer 2 machine now whatever the code he has in his local machine is not same as what you have in your remote because f2 and f3 has been pushed from developer 1 which is there in remote which is not there in developer 2 machine what he has to do here is 
let's say assume that like i am in developer 2 machine now right yeah i am in developer 2 right now i have only f1 i don't have f2 and f3 right whatever is there so what he has to do here is he has to do git pull hyphen r which is requested he has to pull it okay it is not at git repository where i am okay so sorry i have to go inside this one uh cd branching strategy this is the one day git repository right ls hyphen ltr okay cool now i am here right now i have to say git pull command hyphen r if you guys see here it has been put, uh, it has been uh, pulled all the changes now if i say ls hyphen ltr here you will see f1 f3 so now we have seen that whenever the developer 2 wants to make some changes and whenever we try to push the changes to your uh, remote repository always go to get the latest changes from the remote repository local with the help of pull request or pull okay only then if the developer one whatever he made the changes was there in remote which is not there in your in your local will be pulled if you guys see here whenever i say pull it automatically pulled and it also updated in your local uh, okay directory if you guys see here see the developer two right f2 and f3 got added in your open directory also so that is why the pool actually do does so it always recommend to go by uh using like a fetch or merge and then uh, you can take the pool if you don't worry about like what changes he made it then always go by pull request to get all the changes and update in your working directory as well as in your local git and then start changes uh start making your changes and then push it to your pool so that it will be always clean so it will actually uh impacts uh your merging conflicts okay because whenever you take a pool and then do your changes you will minimize the number of uh, merging conflicts in your server okay this is strategy a now let's move on to the strategy b wherein we are going to start let's say i will close it out uh now let's say we are going to strategy b okay within this what we are going to do here is with branching strategy right i am going to create something called a uh, new folder called um branching strategy underscore b okay so what does it mean so here you are joining a new project wherein they are saying okay hey guys uh we don't have any uh this particular project in your github now you have to start uh, everything from scratch so what you do here is first of all you have to initialize this git in your local repository and you make some changes and then push it to your remote so the way how you can do here is let's say you are not going to use this branching strategy a anymore because you are going to uh, start by creating a new project in your local and make it as a git project and then getting into your staging area and then committing into your local git and then pushing everything from the scratch from your local git to your remote git okay let's see how it goes okay guys now we are in branching strategy b now let me open it in the terminal okay now i am not in developer 1 developer 2 okay assume that you are the only one who is actually working on it here okay now let me clear it off let me say where we are okay we are in branching strategy b now i want to create something called i want to initialize a git here so what i can do git init okay if you guys see here i initialize this git here right now this becomes a git folder right now i'm going to say touch f1 and then i'm going to say git add dot okay i got added into staging area and then i'm going to say git commit hyphen m if you guys see here f1 added okay all right now similarly i'm going to say touch f2 git add dot git commit i want to commit it to as f2 added okay there are two commits i did let me clear it off okay let's say where i am okay i am in the brand branching strategy a, uh, b where you guys see f1 and f2 got added okay now if i want to say git status okay perfect everything is uh committed okay there is nothing like uh I need to do because whatever I did, F1 and F2 files I added in my local working directory, and then I, I staged into staging area, and then I moved into uh, local Git. Now whatever I did is up to date with my working directory and my local Git. Now I need to get into uh, remote repository. How I can go to remote repository? Because right now my local Git doesn't know what is my remote repository at all. Right? What you have to do here is how you can check is Git status says right so git log will tell you how many commits you have okay you have two commits in your local right now i am going to say git remote hyphen v see when i whenever i say git remote hyphen v it means like the local git doesn't know what is your remote repository so what you can do here is you go to your github account you can create a new repository 
and you call it as before we go there just quickly check what is your branch okay you see here your local branch is master git branch hyphen a will list out all the branches so you have only one branch called master okay cool now you are going to say that you are going to create a repository called branching strategy b okay let me copy this and you are going to create something called branching strategy b okay it is available you will make it public and you don't need readme file right you are not going to do that and uh, here also you are going to make everything uh, common you create a repository okay well, let's say which is very quite clean repository called git uh, strategy b okay cool so now what you did here is you created a strategy here right you create a new repository here you have two repositories for uh, the repository a repository b you just created a new repository now if you go here right in the code you can take this uh, uh sss right uh, sorry https if you copy this one okay copy it. now you have to set the remote path because your local gate doesn't know what is your remote right so what you have to do is get remote add origin because you have to add the origin right because remote uh your your uh your local gate doesn't know what is your uh, remote right so you are going to give this https so here you are saying it a local gate always remember remote is something but remote repository and this url okay as origin is alice name okay whenever i refer as origin it refers to this particular thing okay yeah now if i go and say remote hyphen v it will tell okay get uh, uh, fetch and push always refer to this particular gate okay now you can do push your changes right because you made some changes like f1 and f2 right what are the changes you hear is not there in your um, code is not there in here right you can able to uh, push it now the way how you can do is okay uh, you can actually you know what you can actually uh, do push all your changes but uh, before you push it what you have to do here is you have to make uh, sure that like whether you want to make all your changes to be pushed into your remote or not so what you can do let's assume that you you made two changes f1 and f2 right assume that you are making all the changes to be pushed into your remote okay then you can simply go for git push origin and then uh, branch but if you remember like if you want to get back uh, one particular commit or whatever it is you can remove it for the commit and then you push it to your changes okay so git push where i want to push it always i remember right so i don't need to give always the actual git url instead i can give the alias name origin i want to push it to origin which is branch master branch see it is pushing it's asking for the password we give you your git password yeah it got created a new branch called master there in the remote and then it, it pushed let me go and refresh this page yeah you guys see here f1 and f2 got added right and it got created a new branch called master as well so this is the second strategy right where there is your code is not there in your remote repository at all so you are going to create a new folder in your local machine and you make it as a git repository and create some folders in your files in your working directory and add it to your staging area and then committing it to your local git and then pushing it to your remote so at this time your local git doesn't know about remote git so what you have to do in your remote uh, whatever github or gitlab or bitbucket any cloud cloud based uh, uh, git account they are using it so go there and create a branch uh, sorry uh, uh, repository and get the code and first set it in your local git so you have your interesting uh, local git say that okay this is the url you have to use it whenever i say remote origin the remote is nothing but you are referring to the remote uh, repository origin is nothing but a rep uh, alias name you can give anything but by default we in the industry we, we, we follow the strategy called uh, origin as alias okay so this is how actually you can do by uh, brand branching strategies i hope you guys have understood both the strategies strategy a and strategy b whenever you join a new project it can be either strategy a or strategy b this is a white uh, white uh, common use case i have taken here to explain you guys how it actually works in the project course okay let's say assume that let's say i am in this branch uh, in this repository uh, let me open this in terminal okay here you go now i am here i want to see what are the branches i have in my repository my local right good branch hyphen a which will list out all the branches 
if you guys see here i have something called dev branch master branch uh, in the remote also i have some origin dev and master okay so in my local i have dev and master in my remote i have dev and master assume that i don't want to use anything out of this i want to create something new branches and i want to push my changes something like that okay now i want to check okay right now it's display that uh, star here right star in dev which means right now i am in dev branch okay if i want to know only what is my current branch i can go for git branch which will tell you okay the local branch you are in local and you are in dev branch okay now assume that i want to create some new branch how i can do git branch i am going to create something branch called developer or develop okay because i want to do them some development okay not dev development okay so i am going to say git branch develop so what it created is git branch hyphen a if you guys see here in my local i have dev branch develop branch master branch in my remote i have only dev and master okay now i want to make uh switch it to develop branch because right now i'm in dev branch right because i created a develop branch but i want to switch it to develop branch what i can do I'll git check out the branch where i want to go or i want to switch it over right so develop yeah switch to develop branch right so which means i i move to develop branch now if i say here ls if ltr i have f1 f2 f3 because uh, i i was creating this branch from dev branch so dev branch has f1 f2 f3 and i got created here now let's say i am in develop branch right because you can check it out by git branch you can see here develop is my current branch because that is related with star so wherever you see star that branch is what your current branch now let's say clear it of everything and now if you say ls ltr you have f1 f2 f3 and if you say git branch you have you are in develop branch now i want to create some file let's say touch f4 or f10 assume that i want to create something called f10 okay then i want to git add it where it will get uh, add means it is going to get into staging area right git add and then git commit hyphen m f10 added in develop okay this is just commit message so what it did it just committed to my local git okay it's not nothing is moved to uh future uh remote so if i go to the remote so this is the branching strategy b if i guess see here i have only master branch and dev branch which means the the branch the develop the develop branch which i created in local is not yet there in uh remote okay now assume that git status you guys see here on the develop branch everything is clean right now let me clear it off so now right now i am in this branch git branch okay i am in develop branch if you say ls if you here i have f1 f3 f3 and f10 now if i go to my here right i see f1 f2 f3 and f10 which is here right now let's say i want to just show you guys how checkout works okay check out if i want to say check out to let's say master branch so we know that the f10 i created is only in develop branch not there in master branch not there in dev branch right let's see if i check out to master branch you guys keep eye on here you guys see here f1 f2 f3 those are the only files we have in master the moment i switch it over to master branch i don't see it right the moment i switch it over to develop branch you will see f10 get added because i am moving to f10 uh, sorry develop branch which has this f10 so now uh we know how to create a new branch we know how to switch it over to the another branch and i in the another branch i get something which is not there master branch let's say i want to merge this right let's say i want to merge this one from develop branch to master branch how i can do it so i have to first go to the branch where i i want to merge it right let's say i want to merge it to master branch git master oh sorry uh git checkout master okay now i switch to master now i don't have this f10 but i have the f10 in develop branch which i need to get it here git merge okay from where develop yeah now the master branch itself i got f10 now develop branch has f10 and master branch has f10 these are in local now i have to push it to you new remote right because if you see here if you refresh this remote you still don't have f10 here even the master branch not in dev branch yeah dev branch of course not but develop branch is not even created here right now what i need to do here is first of all i want to push from master local to master here okay let's say 
master okay now it has been added successfully now if i see here ls hyphen ltr i see here f1 f2 f3 f4 and f10 so in my local earlier i was not having this f4 because this f4 was added in remote after i took the clone so now the master has f1 f2 f3 f4 let me refresh this one yeah you guys see here in the remote master i have f1 f2 f3 f4 but in my local i have f1 f2 f3 f4 and f10 okay now i want to push it so okay push to origin which branch master branch yeah asking for password give the github password now you see here it has been pushed now if i refresh here then f10 has been added here see here f10 has been added so this is how you can able to uh, create something in your future branches and then push it to your master and then push it into your uh, uh, remote repository okay so this is how it actually works now i want to show you guys one more thing last thing is something called pull request so pull request is nothing but let's say you have two branches let's say master branch and let's say feature one branch or something like that okay or in developer branch so those branches whatever you did if it's not there in master branch if you want to merge it then you have you can you have, you have to raise a pull request okay so if you guys see here develop master branch and dev branch i do you still don't have a develop branch right so because the develop branch is not yet pushed what i can do if you want to create the same thing here i can check, check out or switch it to develop branch now i am in develop branch now if you say ls ltr i have f1 f3 f3 and f10 but i don't have f4 because uh, develop branch is not even there in uh, must uh, remote right not i can do git push to origin which branch develop branch the branch is not there it is going to create it and then it is going to push it now i am giving the password of github okay cool now it has been created a new branch develop to develop okay now if i come here and if i click on code if i see you can see here develop has been created if i move it to develop branch i will see f1 f2 f3 and f10 so this is how the newly uh, created a branch in local has been created in uh your remote okay now let's say in develop branch i'm going to create a new file let's say i'm going to create something new called uh f15 okay f15 added in remote develop branch directly because i am directly creating a file called f15 in the remote develop branch okay in the develop branch i am creating it let's say i am giving the same commit message okay i am just creating a new file in remote okay now develop branch in remote has f15 which is not there in master branch right master branch doesn't have f15 assume that you have taken a clone of a master branch and you started creating something in a developer branch which is not there in master branch once the code is reviewed now you want to merge uh, the developer branch into master branch because assume that like master branch is what you are going to deploy in your application server now i want to create a pull request to tell okay i have to create a new pull request i have to tell from where to where i want to merge it from develop branch to master branch i have to merge it so whenever you are trying to create a new uh, pull request what you have to do is you have to see what is the differences okay you are able to merge it from develop branch to master branch and you see here what is the change okay there are two changed files okay one is that file 15 right whatever i added and also i added some commit in this like command message right f15 added in remote uh, repository develop branch directly so this has to be uh, merged into your master branch that is why i am going to create a new pull request so whenever you create a new pull request you will be able to merge it okay here you can able to uh, set some rules let's say uh, it has to go to your uh, team lay to get uh, some approval so typically organization level they will uh, set up this first let's say if any of the developer is creating some of their feature branches whenever they want to merge into the master branch they have to go for some approval let's say tech lead or architects has to just review and then make sure that the code is up to date or if there is any change they have required, they can send it back now i assume that like there is no rule as such now i am assume that like there is no rule then where i am going to create a merge uh, approve that merge request okay so this branch has no conflicts because base branch is master branch where it doesn't have the f15 file but in the developer branch you have f15 file that is the only change right so i am going to just confirm the merge okay it says like pull request has been successfully merged and closed okay now if you guys so go here you will see in the master branch see f15 has been added right so which is nothing but like f15 file has been merged from developer branch to your master branch so this is how the merge request works 
basically in github the terminology is different the pull request is something but whenever you want to merge from one branch to another branch you call it as pull request in some other uh, uh, service provider let's say gitlab it is called merge request so this is this is pull request here that is a merge request in the gitlab so but the function at which it is same only the terminology is different so i hope you guys have understood like how to create a new branch how to switch it out to the other branch and how to uh, develop something in your branch which is not there in the main branch which you can able to merge it in local and push it from your uh, local to your remote and also in the how to create a pull request to merge the changes from the developed branch to the master branch